Hi everyone, this is uh, Bartosz here recording from my studio in Dallas, Texas. This is the second time I'm recording this uh, video. In the first uh, uh, footage that I got um, today, I forgot to turn on microphone and I end up having an entire video without sound. So I had to reshoot it again. And uh, it's pretty frustrating because I don't know if I can put together all my thoughts again in this uh, video, but I have to try at least and see what uh, will happen. Um, I just have to adjust my lighting. I think that's uh, much uh, better. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about uh, recreation. Recreation in a form of uh, adjusting to your needs and adjusting to the situation that uh, we have to face every day. And that could be uh, beside painting uh, and uh, managing the studio, marketing, sales, connecting, networking, trying to stay um, more than just above the surface. And uh, I thought about the recreation as uh, clay. Once you warm up the clay, you can change the form and, re and uh, reshape it the way uh, you want. And uh, myself as an artist, I think about uh, uh, a lot of situations that I face on a daily basis as uh, adjusting to um, and putting the mask, right mask on, meaning that um, when I don't paint, I become marketer, I become social media manager, I become salesperson, I become a pitcher with my um, artwork and, uh, and if I do anything else that it's uh, necessary. Today, I also read uh, the article in the art uh, newspaper. Uh, this article was uh, published in 2018, so it's uh, two years old. No, I think 2019, I'm sorry. And the article was about uh, small galleries rely on um, free top artists uh, to make their revenue or their, sale, their sales, or uh, on just one top artist that makes uh, most of the sales in the gallery. And they actually broke it down into percentage. Uh, they were saying that 63% of uh, sales comes from fro uh, free top artists in the gallery and often 46% uh, comes only from one artist, which is uh, which is uh, not uh, uncommon for the galleries. I think that that's uh, something that they do. They have uh, one really well-selling artist, maybe this year, maybe next year, other artists um, comes in. But um, I was thinking today um, that um, if we as an artist can, um, who sell maybe great with a gallery, if we as an artist can repeat the same model uh, and, and uh, translate that to the sales directly from the studio, then, um, then that definitely would change the game and uh, artists uh, wouldn't have to rely that much on the galleries. Because imagine that um, in the article they were talking about top three or top one artist that uh, makes most of the revenue for the gallery. But if you are not that uh, uh, top three artist in the gallery, then you still have to work um, your ass off and uh, make the sales so you can actually survive. And uh, um, the gallery can help you with that in a way that the gallery is there and then you just do rest of the work. So I'm thinking if you can, if we as an artist can repeat that model and have uh, like a sales uh, people who make the pitch to the potential buyers, collectors, uh, businesses, uh, you name it. And um, personally, my dream is to have three people working for me as a sales uh, people. And each time I walk into the studio, I see in this room, three, four desks with uh, the people uh, constantly on the phone, 
uh, trying to arrange uh, meetings, trying to arrange uh, viewing appointments, um, closing sales. And um, that is something that uh, I want to have. And uh, it's my dream. And, uh, you know, when we look at the Damien Harris, um, he was one of the first artists. I don't know if the only one, probably there are many. Um, who actually um, um, tr uh, trick a system and uh, he made his living without relying on the gallery. He was one of the first artists who took um, um, his artworks and sold in the uh, auction house without uh, um, sharing or splitting anything with art dealer or art gallery, which is uh, great. Um, and he made it and I think that uh, other artists can do that too. Um, I would say that even having a great gallery uh, shouldn't stop us from um, becoming our own business in a sense that you have your assistants, you have your salespeople, you are become your own gallery in a way. So uh, that, that um, brought me to thinking about recreation, about um, being that clay and um, adjusting yourself to the forms and uh, creations that I needed at uh, this uh, point. And uh, you know, um, you know that saying, I don't know if actually it's saying, but I've, I've read somewhere that uh, um, bad theater uh, will be always a bad theater. A bad acting will always be a, a bad, bad acting, um, very much embarrassing. But if you, if you adjust yourself and uh, improve your skills, you can definitely change that uh, theater and uh, change the story around you, make it uh, happen for sales, for great paintings, for anything that you imagine. It's just about um, adjusting that clay, recreating. And I think that um, recreation in itself comes from artists because uh, that's uh, what we do from ages. And um, pretty much I think that if we have a vision, then that vision can come true. And uh, this article I read in the art uh, newspaper, um, it was actually um, great to see and uh, great to have that understanding that sometimes we get that disappointment from the gallery that oh, they maybe don't sell or um, don't take, don't really take care of us, but actually that's not true. It's all market and uh, uh, market sometimes decides uh, what sells or not. And also, um, and also maybe they have not the uh, right pitch or not right uh, base of collectors uh, for the art artworks of particular artists. That's why I believe that um, having uh, your own sales team, your own control on, on the things you do is the best uh, way. And uh, I don't know, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I would like to hear what you think about it. Um, generally, I think that the aspect of uh, recreation and adjusting to the situation needs and uh, you know, training yourself, training, training yourself in sales, in becoming a salesperson. You know, some might say I want to focus only on making art, but at the end, um, focusing only on one thing might not might not lead to those greater things. So I think that um, we all have to be like this clay. Yesterday I was talking about, uh, what I was talking about, about concentrating forces and uh, maybe recreation um, is um, the way of um, concentrating the forces as well. I don't know. Let me know in the comments and I will leave you here with uh, my thoughts. 
I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.